to my channel Devin Make Beauty. I am Devin. Today we are filming a chit chat video of my favorite products. Everything down to some of my favorite brushes. Um, so if you like to... Oh, I can't do this. And I had fun filming this video. Since it's all my favorite products, I already know how they work. And if you'd like to see how I got this look using those products, please keep on watching. All right, full face of favorites. Let's jump right into this. First things first, favorite chapstick, Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. I like to put this on at night, and by morning, my lips are plump, no wrinkles, creaks, none of that by the time morning hits. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is brows. I'm gonna show you the products I use and then do it off camera because this takes me a really long time. So I use the Benefit My Brow Pencil in the six. I also use the Morphe Micro Brow in Double Dutch along with the Benefit Brow Conditioner. And then to set my brows, I use the ColourPop Brow Gel along with the NYX Tinted Brow Gel. Alright, so I'm going to do these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. We're going to move on to the face, starting with my favorite moisturizer, which is the Mario Badesco Celliform Moisturizer. I like this because it's not super thick under my makeup, but it still keeps my face. Drives. I go into the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. I put this in my T-zone to equalize my skin, if you want to say that. It's not super duper mattifying, which I don't need to be super duper mattified because I already put powder on top of my foundation and everything. And I just like this because it reduces the pores. I like to kind of like press it in to my cheeks, especially because that's where I have the most pores. Next, we're gonna go to foundation. I have two favorite foundations, which today we're gonna mix together. I've never mixed them together, but I really want to see how it looks because this one is like my perfect match, and this one is slightly darker. But since it's summer, well, almost summertime, and I'm slightly darker than usual, I want to mix them together. This one is hydrating, which is okay for my skin, but I kind of have oily skin, so it looks a little wet. This one is a natural finish foundation, but I think it's kind of mattifying, so I think together they will be just fine. I'm gonna mix them together and put it on my face. Oh, and the shades I use are in the Smashbox Studio Skin. It's a 15 hour foundation. It's a shade 4.3, and for the Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation, I am in 110 sections. here now favorite sponge this sponge is from shopmissa.com and it costs a dollar it's their super plush sponge there's a difference between this one dollar sponge that they have and this one this one's a lot softer this one's a little more dense they're both very good sponges but I kind of prefer this one a little bit more than this one this one gets even if you wet it it dries a little faster than this one does Alright, moving on to contour and concealer. My favorite contour at the moment is the Fenty Beauty Contour or Matchstick in the shade Espresso. Now my favorite concealer at the moment is the Maybelline Asian Concealer. This is the shade Tan. It's, it's 
a little lighter than the rest of my concealers, but I like it once I set it with my um, with my powder. The color is. Okay, now with the same sponge, opposite side, we are going to blend out the contour, and blend out um, concealer, and then go in with my two favorite powders. I have two favorite powders. I like to use the Cover FX powder in the deeper shade to do the concealed areas, and the um, Laura Mercier powder in the deep shade to do the rest of my face. If you see me looking to the left, I'm looking at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I don't want to put something in front of my face so you guys can't see. If you don't hear any noise, that's my sister on FaceTime. She likes to watch even though I'm looking at the ceiling. So, yeah. If you don't hear any background noise. To wet the sponge a little bit more for this concealer because it is pretty mattifying. I have to spray my sponge with the Cover Effect spray to give it a little more life. Now with the Laura Mercier for the rest of the face, I'm going to use this powder brush. I'm just going to dip into it slightly. And the reason this is my favorite right now is because it does not crease for me. Like all my other eyeshadow, all my other concealers crease, even if they just crease a little bit, but this one doesn't. I don't blame the concealer for that because I have really deep lines under my under eyes. So I don't really blame the concealer, but this one, regardless, does not crease at all for me. Black Radiance powder 
in the shade ebony and the shade black coffee black coffee is slightly darker than ebony so depending on how i'm feeling if i want to be a little more chiseled i'll use either or Now for blush, we're going to go with my favorite blush palette, which is from Vivi's Place, the Saharian Blush Volume 1. We're going to take the shades Neo and Toby and mix them together, which is the two shades in the middle. Using this Morphe Y3 brush to apply it. These blushes are very parenting, which is why I like them. I just dab that one time. Can you see that? Yeah. So we're gonna mix them, I like to tap into them and get off the excess. I am gonna set my face, because at this point I do like to set my face and let this all kind of sink in. And then we'll move on to the eyes. Now I'm using the MAC Fix Plus to do this, it's one of my favorites. I use two different setting sprays, I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to go over top of it with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray which is also one of my favorites. One setting spray that I am trying out now that I think might become one of my favorites is the Morphe Continuous Mist setting spray. I love the way it smells and the way it applies and I'm still trying to see how it actually sets the face. I've only used it about twice, so I'm going to give it a couple more tries to see you know, if I really, really, really like it like I say I do. I had a hard time picking a palette because I love the Morphe Jack and Hill palette, but I also love all of Juvia's Places palettes. So just for versatility and color, color collaboration, we're going to go with the Morphe Jack and Hill palette. I don't know what kind of outcome I'm going for. I'm just going to throw some stuff together, put it on, and yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> to prime my eyes, what I've been using lately, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a favorite yet, but I, I have been using it and it, hasn't, it has been working pretty well. I've been using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. This was just the M441 brush. We're gonna go into a transition shade color, which will be what's this color? What's my little pocket thing? I still have this thing to name the colors. What shade is that? Roxanne. We're gonna go with Roxanne as a transition color. I'm gonna go with my finger <laughs> and we're gonna go in with this shade called I'm thinking I'm stuck between Nyx and 24 7 I'm gonna go 24 7 it's like a dark shimmery copper brown color or not copper dark chocolate brown shimmery color and we're gonna put this all over the lid
Now, like I said, to go back in with the same brushes earlier that we used in our crease with the same color that we used and bring it back to life a little bit. Now for highlight, um, we're going to go in with the Crayon Case and Glow Luck Highlighter. This has been my favorite ever since I bought it. I love how finely milled the colors are and it just looks like freaking gold on my skin. So what I'm going to do first though is spray my face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a loose highlighter. I believe it was fifteen dollars. I want to say. I want to say it was about fifteen dollars. Can't really remember. Okay, we're gonna use this Vanity Planet fan brush to apply the highlighter. Now this this a little bit goes a long way with this. So and me, I can go really intense on my highlighter. And I try not to. So just dab it in there just a little bit in the lid, not the actual because that's a lot. I didn't drop it. Now we are going. Now I like to go over my face one more time with the dome powder brush just to get everything nice and blended. Now we are going to. I'm going. My sister asked me if I'm doing eyelashes. Yes, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I'm gonna go with my favorite eyelashes, which are the Dodo lashes. These are the D115 lashes. Get you guys a little closer up there. There you go. And these lashes, price point is from $5 to $15 max. So, yeah, I really, I kind of swear by these. I have a whole drawer full of them. Um, so I'm going to apply these. Actually, first I'm going to do some liner. I'll show you guys my favorite liner at the moment. My favorite liner at the moment is the Fix, Fix Line Eyeliner Gel. This is by Ofra. And it's a liquid liner. I really like that. And uh, it's really easy to apply. And I have issues with applying wing liners. And this makes it super easy. So I'm going to... I'm going to uh, do this really quick and I'll be right back because I have to be laser focused when I do this. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the lashes on, did my little wing liner. Now we're going to go into mascara. One of my favorite, I have two favorite mascaras. Today we're going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I believe is everyone's favorite. So, and I only put mascara in my lower lash line. I don't put it where my falsies are because I feel like it's not necessary. Uh... Lips. Uh, let me see. 
just have a couple of favorite products I like to use. I'm going with this Jordania, Jordana Brown Lip Pencil. It's not a favorite of mine, but it's still... And I'm going to go in in the center of my lips with this ColourPop Matte ColourPop <laughs> Lippy Stick in the shade Cami. It's a matte lips lip stick. It's very pink. Going with this Moroc. Ultra Eco Lip Gloss in the shade Socialite. Alright, and this is the finished look. The only thing I'm going to do real quick off camera is line my waterline. But this is it. Um, so those are all my favorite products. If you guys have any questions about any of them, please let me know. Um... I want to do a video on, I want to do another chit chat, get ready with me. The other one wasn't a chit chat, but the next one I do, I want to do a chit chat one. Because I have some more fashion over outfits I want to try on for you guys. And... some suggestions down below of what is a good second anniversary event or gift my husband likes cars watches clothes that's it. and me <laughs> that's all I got <laughs> all right um thanks for watching bye no. she says bye <laughs>